Hello friends, welcome to Rapid Revision for Computer Science Students. In this section of Undecidability, we will be discussing the part 3 of Undecidability. In the previous two videos, we have discussed about the prerequisites required for the Undecidability for understanding it. And, and now in this uh, video, we will be discussing the main topic of discussion that is Undecidability. Okay, so let's get started. So now, now what is decidable and undecidable problems? Let, let us first see it. A decidable problem. A problem is said to be decidable if there exists a halting Turing machine for uh, or an algorithm for that problem. While an undecidable problem is a problem uh, in which no halting Turing machine or algorithm exists for that problem. So we can say that if we, if we, if we are able, able to make a halting Turing machine, then we are able to say that the problem is decidable problem, otherwise undecidable problem. As we have discussed in the previous videos that recursive languages, uh, recursive languages, we can say them are decidable. And uh, if the language is non-recursive language, then, then uh, that is undecidable. Okay, so let's uh, get further. Uh, let's see this uh, figure. What is what does it say? Recursive language, the difference between recursive language, recursive enumerable language and not recursive enumerable language. First of all, recursive language. Uh, when an input is given to the Turing machine, it will um, say yes or no. If, the, if it uh, accepts the string, input string, then uh, it uh, says the output yes, otherwise it prints no. So that is the case with recursive language. So it uh, says yes also and it says no also. While in the case of recursive enumerable language, if the string is accepted, then it says yes. Otherwise, it says nothing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say even no if it is not accepted. Now, the third, uh, third machine, third language is that not a recursive enumerable language. Uh, the problem with this is, all, uh, is that it doesn't even say yes. Okay, so that is why it is undecidable. Now, we will head on to rec reduction. What is reduction? A problem A re is reducible to B means that we can conclude that the problem B is uh, B with the help of problem A. If A is reducible to B, then B is harder problem than A. Take an example from real life situation that if you are uh, suppose a builder, you are, uh, you are a builder, professional builder, you have made a house. Then obviously we can say that you, you have also made a kitchen of the room, a kitchen and the room, obviously. So uh, taking this as uh, making a house is a harder problem than making a kitchen and making a room. So we can say that if, we're able, able the, if the builder is able to make, uh, make the house itself, obviously it's very easy to make a kitchen. Obviously it has made a kitchen and a room. So uh, we can uh, that is co make correspondence with the real life situations. So I think this is clear. So we'll uh, be discussing it further. Then that will be more clear to you. If A is reducible to B, uh, then following things up, following possibilities are there. First of all, if B is decidable, that is, if you are able to make the house, then you can also make to able to make the kitchen. So if B is decidable, then A is decidable. Now, second one, if B, if A is undecidable, suppose you are not able to make the kitchen also, then obviously you are not able to make the house. So, if A is undecidable, then B is also undecidable. Third one, if B is recursive language, then A is recursive language. If B is recursive, then A is also recursive language. If B is recursive enumerable language, then A is also recursive enumerable language. Now, fifth point, if A is not recursive language, then B is also not recursive language. Okay, so if uh, A is not, so uh, if we are telling that if A is not recursive language, then B is also not recursive language. Now, six point C is that if A is not recursive enumerable language, then B is also not recursive enumerable language. Now, seven point C is if B is yes, obviously B is yes, you are saying B is yes, that is you are make, able to make the house, yes. Then you have, uh, then A is also yes, you are also able to make the kitchen. Now, 8 point says if A is no, if you are not able to make kitchen also, then B is also no, you will not be able to make the house. 
so that is all for the reduction i hope it you find it very easy to grasp it with the help of the real life situation now you uh, will be uh, able to uh, go through the decidable and undecidable problems of regular language the following problems are decidable under regular language um, i have made a trick to remember just to remember after that in the future videos we will be discussing the table uh, so that you will be uh, very easily uh, mark the decidable and undecidable problems and uh, just by uh, looking into your brains by just uh, one hint you will be able to solve the question so uh, for that you have to learn that it is me fi it sick okay m e f e i t s i c that is first letters of each um, each problem you can see like uh, m e f e i t s i k me fi it sick by this you can remember that that will be discussing in the next lecture um first of all uh, the uh, following problems are decidable under regular language first is membership problem second emptiness problem third is finiteness problem fourth is equivalence problem fifth is intersection empty problem sixth is totality problem seventh is subset problem intersection finiteness problem and cofiniteness problem um first four properties we have already discussed in decision properties of finite automata uh i will be adding this video in this uh, next uh, playlist in this playlist next uh, video i will add uh, so that uh, it will be easy for the reference and after that 5 to 9 properties we will be discussing in the future videos i hope that is it uh, it is very clear to you everything i thought in this video if you uh, if you have some doubts uh, please comment on the low part of the video so um, i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, thanks for listening bye for now thank you Please like subscribe or comment if you like the video thank you so much